this is it now. 24 hours until racing. Nervous, a little bit, but literally now a little pre-race jog, about 30 minutes before we actually race. Same we, me race, and yeah, nerves starting to set in a little bit, but it should be all right. I'm feeling really, really good, so just got to go out now and do it. Yesterday's session went really, really well, which proves that I'm fully ready to go and go and like race. I just need to just go and do it now. Here he is, man of the hour. He's gonna give us a little wave. No, he's not. Yeah. That's it. Last run done before the actual race tomorrow. Feeling really good actually, did some strides after, really feeling dead confident, I just want to now go out and do it, I just wish it would be here a lot sooner but never mind, just feel really, just ready to go, just need to go and do it now. Enjoying my AM Sport recovery, as you can see this one, this new packet that I've just opened is similar to my hair colour in a weird way, it's quite a weird blonde, I haven't tried it yet so I'm sure it'd be pretty nice. Just had my dinner. 18 hours to go until my race I uh, I'm not gonna tell you what I actually had for my dinner because I think there's certain things that like I do want to keep to myself I know obviously I want to be open about this training and open and tell you exactly what I do but literally there is one thing and it is what I eat the night before is something that like I quite like to keep close to me and just uh, yeah I like to keep it quite quiet and not like it's my own kind of like routine and what I like basically the night before a race and I feel like it really helps me. I might share it later on in the summer but for now it's just something that I'll want to keep quite close to me in my, my preparation to coming in. But no, still excited. Um, don't think I'll get much sleep tonight but I shall see you tomorrow morning. So, just woke up today um, feeling like really good, really ready to go. Just had some breakfast as well, feeling that like I could run well today. I'm feeling really strong, feeling that like my legs aren't that tired, which is nice. So fingers crossed, we've just got to go out and run really quick. Yesterday I downloaded the magic conch from the SpongeBob thing. Um, I'm going to ask it if I'm going to run all right today. So do you think I'll run quick today in magic conch? Oh no, come on. Yes. See, the magic conch believes in me. So let's go and execute. So, an hour until racing. I'm getting a little bit nervous as it comes into it. Got a lot of work into this now and all the thoughts are kind of running through my head of am I ready to kind of go, am I not ready to go, am I feeling good, so yeah just kind of a little bit nervous but just got to go out now, warm up and then should be ready to go and go and perform, all being well. I'd do this a little bit differently so basically I'm just gonna watch my race and comment alongside it and what I actually thought of my race which went all right today I'm kind of happy kind of not so here we go so literally I'm at the start now and I get out quite well like I get a really good start get into position really well and I'm sitting in second and like, I really felt like I got out proper well like in this race compared to what like I normally do and we went through like first hundred meters and I thought to myself like, right sit into this guy in second place and I'm feeling feeling like really really good and I, like as I was coming through here like we went through and uh, to be fair the first lap I did go through a bit slow I went through in like 28 seconds which like I should really be going through in about 26 27 so like to be doing that it's just a bit off the pace and then like this bit here from like 200 to 300 meters as you can see, like you're watching it alongside me now, I just let him go in that section, and I shouldn't have let him go. I should be right on him, no matter what he went through in the pace. And we were trying along, and I, still this point, I thought to myself, I thought actually, I'm, I feel like I'm running quite well here. Went through 400, I went through in 56, and as you can see, this lad on the outside like went round me, and he had an absolute storm in the last 200. I was quite impressed, but yeah, like I went after him, and I just, I just really couldn't get that turning over, and that comes from those two months that I had in the winter that I'd really missed out on because of my injury 
and as you can see coming into the last 100 meters now well you can kind of see you kind of can see did the best with video than we could and i'm coming around the corner here last 100 meters really hammering it in and i was coming in and to come in in third in the a race i was kind of happy i ended up with the time of 125 16 which is like just off my fastest time that I've ever opened with. My fastest time I've ever opened with over 600 in the winter has been 124.5. Now when I ran that 124.5 last year, I did come down and I did run about 38 miles that week. This week in total I've run 52 miles, which obviously is a lot more. And I was running it off tired legs. I did feel like pretty tired as I was running, but generally, if I was to grade my race today, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. The commitment level just wasn't there. Like I just really didn't commit as I went out in the first 400. I just need to man up a bit more and go out really hard through that first 400. But apart from that, I really enjoyed the atmosphere of being back racing. Again, that was absolutely awesome. I love the fact of just getting nervous beforehand. That was really good. And just getting through the rhythms of like racing again and just getting through like the whole getting to the start and it was delayed by half an hour the start which wasn't ideal we we're supposed to go off at half one we went off at about 10 to 2 2 o'clock which isn't ideal but it's just stuff that you have to put up with and it got me used to kind of like warming up and then warming down and then warming up again to kind of get going again but honestly six out of ten good start but hopefully a lot more to come so guys, remember, if you'd enjoyed my videos, please subscribe in that corner there. That'll be fantastic. And make sure you check out my other videos. That'd be great. There is a new series going to be coming next week and obviously preparing for the track season. So hopefully you'll enjoy that and check it out. Remember, guys, I will catch you on the flip side.